Did you pack more than one pair of shorts and one shirt? Yeah. You sure? Yeah. Like, did you bring any underwear? You didn't have any underwear and socks packed last time I checked. Can you say, hi? Hi. Hi, MFers. Hey, can you, can you say milk? milk? What? What'd you just call me? Say milk! Milk. Wow. Shoes. You ready for this? Yeah, I got my sitting shoes on. You got your driving <laughs> shoes on. Man, this is gonna be a long one. Dude, I think this might be the longest road trip of your life. At least we're leaving the heat and we're going to the heat. What's up, members? Max and I are on our journey, 40 hour journey. We're heading north. We're stopping in Missouri and then we're keeping on. We're going all the way up through Chicago into Indiana from Houston, Texas. We're going to pick up two separate things. Well, we're actually gonna drop off one thing and that is the Triton bag behind me. Second thing is uh, what you're probably seeing this video is about in the, uh, the thumbnail and the title. We're getting something that I've wanted to get for a long time, and it's actually been a deal months in the making, and I'm not going to tell you quite yet what it is. You'll just have to wait and see, but I was supposed to have it months ago, but due to supply chain issues and really no one wanting to spend gas money to, to ship it down to Texas, we are driving to Indiana to pick it up. We are already through the majority of Arkansas, actually, and we're staying at a badass little B&B &B, uh, on Table Rock Lake tonight. We do have a 40 hours worth of driving over the next four days, and uh, a lot of fun stuff in between, so take you guys along with it. It's gonna be a fun one. Let's get it, Max. Woo! We made it to the lake, Max. Ugly, huh? Let's go right around on it after we cook. We made it 10 ish hours of driving today, and this is where we're staying for about the next 12 hours. We're gonna make some dinner real quick, get checked in, and then I think we're gonna blast down to Table Rock, just go for a ride. One last ride. And the old girl there. How's it looking, Chester? Damn, this is nice. Deal. I'm glad we brought this. They don't got a grill in there. Huh. I'm also glad we got Zark's torch. Oh, there we go. Like it at all? No, hated it. You're gonna shake and bake? Shake and bake. Say goodbye, Max. Bye, goodbye, Triton. Wow, what a muddy river, Max. Yay! Chicago! I love Chicago! Uh, uh, We're only 2 hours and 19 minutes. The problem is, it said 2 hours and 19 minutes like an hour ago as well. You bet. You bet. Max, what city are we in? Uh, I don't even remember. We're... Uh, I think we're in Kansas City. <laughs> Jesus, Max. We are in Chestertown, Ch Chesterton, Indiana. At the Hilton Garden Inn. Uh, Airbnb was not too friendly to us. You know, we usually like to go and cook our own meals there. But 
there was nothing unless you want to drop about three hundo on some shitty little room. So, stay at the hotel and cooking up some some steaks and some cabbage and yeah, it's gonna be delicious. But we have about an hour to our destination tomorrow morning. We're waking up and we're finally getting put on something there. So no more tailgating, but it's gonna be worth it. Uh, I'm very excited for it, and we're gonna crush some steaks and catch you guys in the morning. I think that the, the suspense has carried on too long and I'm not going to just film a bunch of shit just to film a bunch of shit and we'll catch you in the morning when uh, we, we show you what we've been talking about looks like campers to me we did it Well, flash forward several days, we are back in the Tejas. Max and I made it 20 hours home, maybe had a little pit stop somewhere in the middle around Springfield, Missouri area to pick up a brand new boat. That's neither here nor there, you'll see in a future video, but we did it, we picked up what we went after. I didn't really tell you guys much, but here it is. The Palomino SS, the soft side 550 truck camper. Drove her all the way back in the old Ram. She did great, obviously gas mileage, took a little bit of a hit on the way home, but we got her home 19 hours or whatever it was. I didn't film after that, but Max and I actually camped two nights on the way home. I was like deathly sick with a head cold. Uh, my throat hurt, I just, it was terrible to film. So I didn't feel like filming. I wanna get back feeling a lot better. Uh, and that's what I am down here in Texas. I am way better and I couldn't be more excited. I'm gonna give you a full tour of the outside, the inside, all the features of this badass camper in just a second. But really I wanna tell you the reason I got it. And that is obviously, it shouldn't be that crazy to you guys, but. You know, I travel all over the place uh, on, on these fishing excursions across the country. It's really hard to find lodging. A lot of times the, the lodging isn't exactly what we need. It's too expensive a lot of times. It's way overpriced or it's just not anywhere near the lake or the body of water we wanna be fishing. Or we end up fishing a lake that's we thought we were gonna be at for four days for two hours because it sucks and we just move on to the next one. All of which doesn't work too well for having uh, a hotel room that's fixed. Plus, I grew up camping. Uh, we had a pop-up camper growing up, and those are seriously some of my fondest memories. And I wanted those memories for Ozzy and Max, and of course Becky and the the dogs. Do dog, we're hoping to get another dog uh, in the near future. So, this was a perfect option. Um, obviously, it goes right there in the back of the Ram truck, and it, it locks in with some tie downs. So the fine folks at the Outpost RV they installed those for me and um, I'm freaking jacked about this thing. So the reason I chose this exact model, the 550 model is, it's one of their lightest because it's a soft side. So it actually pops up. As you guys can see, this extends up about two feet on the entire thing. And that's gonna give us way more room on the inside, but without being a hard side. Which would weigh more if, if that was, you know, all hard up there. But this thing's loaded with features. We got the, the electric jacks on the bottom, electric jacks that raise that up, so no cranking or anything like that. Uh, we have a hot water heater. We have a 30 amp plug right there. We have external plugs right over here. We even got a hose where we can have a little shower, a little external shower. There is no restroom or shower in there, which again, it's gonna cut down on weight. Didn't really feel like we needed that inside. And then right here, you can actually, you can put um, your water in a water tank inside there which can be heated by the water heater which i'll show you in just a second when we go inside or if you go to the campground you can connect it to their water as well this guy is just your your typical plug goes into the back of the truck right there for the brake lights and everything and then a 12 volt battery disconnect there is a, a battery in there and then up top we actually have solar panels as well which can charge the 12 volt battery so that's a really awesome feature this is also screened in the entire way around you can pull the velcro on the inside um, and, and it will have nice airflow through the whole thing, which I really, really like. Then as you go over here to this side, once the camper is jacked up, this is a Thule awning right here. So we'll have a nice little awning off the side there. Um, propane right here. So we have a propane. That's what the water heater runs off of and a few other things inside. Window, which opens up. Let's get on inside. This is the part I really like. Oh, and of course they have this badass handle. Make sure that you got a little double security there for locking this door in case it would fly open. So let's go tour the inside. I love this part of it. First off, let's get some lights turned on in here. I love these little touch lights up here. Got an air conditioner. That is absolutely huge. And of course we got a heater down here as well. Those ain't on right now because she's not plugged in. So it's a little bit toasty in the Texas heat right here. But as you guys can see, walking in right up here, 
we have a badass queen bed. So nice big bed. I couldn't believe sleeping up there how comfortable it was. Right here we got ourselves a little bench seating, a little table for you to eat at, or this is Max's favorite part right here. If you take this guy off, there's actually a piece of, we store it right here. Little piece of wood. Move these stairs down for a second. And then we got that cushion, which I'm not gonna go grab right back there. Goes right there and boom. We got ourselves a little dab master slash Aussie slash coleslaw bed right there. And we actually, we're, we're gonna put some Velcro. This is one upgrade we're gonna do. Just a little feature because the, the cushion was sliding off this in the night a little bit. Max said he was falling in the crack right there. We're gonna throw some Velcro right here to get that figured out. Fridge, awesome. Badass fridge right here, which can actually run off of the 30 amp plug or the propane. Uh, what else do we got? And here's the, the water. There's the water right back there. We got everything with the solar panel operations right there. We have a stove we can cook on. And we did cook on twice actually. And then the sink, which comes with the uh, pressurized water system. Use that switch right there. That pressurizes the water, which goes from the water tank if you are going to bring your water with you all the way to the sink. So you got pressurized water. Then as you guys can see up here, we have this soft storage system. Storage up there. Uh, we got storage actually underneath there. Those are my tie downs and everything, so don't pay attention to those. This is the ladder which goes off the edge. We got storage in this guy. Storage, 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 storage. Guys, I don't know what else to say. I'm freaking blown away by this thing. As you can tell, I'm six foot two. I'm standing and we got a whole nother foot or so. I think it's seven foot four actually. So we got over a foot clearance above my head. Like I said, I'm sweating right now, but I'm not gonna be hot once we got the AC cranked up, which me and Max did. It got down to about 90 degrees at night, both nights, and we were covered in blankets because it was frigid in here. And we got a little fan up there too. Overall, I'm obsessed with the layout right here. I think it's gonna be plenty big for uh, for me and Coleslaw to do our, our little road trips. And then when me and Becky and Max and Osborne decide to come out and uh, do some camping, it's gonna be great because they're gonna be able to travel with me a lot more. I think if when we do that, obviously um, we'll be up there and then I think Max can sleep right here. And then I think we're just gonna put a little sleeping pad right down here and Osborne and probably Emmy will lay right here too. But it's pretty crazy being able to put this in the back and of course right up there on top over the cab of my truck and it only clears the back of it in my five and a half foot bed by about a foot. So the clearance is pretty wild. Overall, I think it's 1500 pounds or something like that. So really not that heavy. It's way lighter than my boat and my trailer. All in all, this thing is badass and I love it. If you guys remember back several years ago, the Zark actually had a truck top camper and that's something that I loved traveling um, with him with, but he actually got rid of it. It was an old piece of crap one. So we didn't have it very long, but that was an awesome feature for us to just kind of pull up pull it to whatever leg, camp right there at the boat ramp, and now we finally can do it, except this is a much nicer rig. People at the outpost were, were awesome to, to deal with at this if you're up in the Indiana area, but Palomino has dealers all over the country, and they have a ton of different models. They were actually showing me in the store. Um, they have way, way bigger, and they have even smaller ones for all different truck types, all different style of beds, and of course, they have your regular pull-behind campers and fifth wheels too. Anyways, they were, they were great to work with. I'll link Palomino down below so you can check out all the different campers they have and um, as always go let us know down below what kind of content you guys want to see filmed in this bad boy i have a lot of ideas obviously but i think this this model right here fits uh, the style of what i do with my life and, and my channel and my content being super mobile and all over the place and, and going hopping from place to place not staying one place very long i think this fits it perfect and i've wanted a camper for a long time um, but i didn't really want to get a tow behind because i didn't want to have to go out and buy another truck and have to put pull the, the camper with one truck and then the boat with another truck or do the giant fifth wheel thing where you got the fifth wheel and the boat way back behind it. It just seemed like a lot. So I think this is gonna be absolutely perfect. And like I said, we got some other good things coming with the Melican Fishing Channel, brand new too. I can't wait to show you guys. Anyways, thanks for watching this video. Hey Mappers, I'm glad we're safe. We're back here in Texas. It's time to get out and do some fishing, some camping. Can't wait, let's do it.